Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to get started with state space in MATLAB. I'll convert an S-Domain transfer function to state space controller canonical form and convert that to phase variable form. I'm going to start off with the second order transfer function, 25 over s squared plus 2s plus 4, and I'm also going to find the order of our transfer function, which we know is 2, but I'm going to use this variable later. So the MATLAB function for converting a transfer function to a state space representation is tf to ss and that is going to give us our A, B, C, and D matrices in controller canonical form. So let's run this and see what we get. Now, I don't know about your class, but in my controls class, we didn't use that form very much, so I'll show you how to get it into phase variable form, which might be more useful. To do this, we need this V matrix, which is like a mirrored identity matrix. And this matrix is going to need to have the same dimensions as the order of our system for matrix multiplication later. Um, in this case, I've typed it out manually to be 2x2. Two two. Uh, but to make our code a little more versatile, we can use this command instead using the order of our system RG from earlier. And this is basically making a 2x2 two two identity matrix and then mirroring it. And here are the equations to convert all four of the matrices. So let's run this and see what happens. You'll notice that the 25 from the numerator went into the B matrix, and the C matrix is just 1 and 0. Uh, this is correct, but you know you also have the option to swap these values so that the B matrix is 1 and 0, so I'll show you a way to do that. We can change the equation for B and C using the V matrix. And I'll run this, and we can see that now B is 0, 1, and the 25 from the numerator is actually put in the C matrix. Thanks for watching. You can find the code from this on GitHub using the link in the description. Like and subscribe if this video is helpful, and if there's something you'd like to see in the future, or if you have any suggestions on what I can do better, please let me know in the comments below.